How strong are chimpanzees? Really? Right? Because look at that boy. So I've discussed this topic plenty of times and usually I'm not one to make all that work and bring the sources because I think anybody with half a brain can easily just Google. But obviously Google is quite difficult and it leads to a lot of uh, confirmation bias. So let's just bring the real science. First, for introduction, for years, scientists have suspected that chimpanzees are more powerful than humans, but mostly it's based on anecdotal stories, evidence. Um, chimpanzees are much smaller than human males. On average, they weigh about 100 pounds, that's just 45 kilograms, okay? Or a bit more than half of an average human male. I'm like 180 pounds. And uh, most of the stories about how strong chimpanzees are date back to the first tall tales from European explorers in sub-Saharan Africa in the early 19th century, then to research in the 1920s by biologist John Bauman, who studied chimps in zoos. In a series of studies, he was measuring incredible forces. Um, like five times as strong as the beefiest football players. And one female chimp um, seemingly even had a pulling strength of one arm of a thousand pounds or like 500 kilograms she was able to pull. But no other study ever, ever, no other measurement ever was able to produce nearly those forces. And it was revealed that there were great methodological errors on that. And for years, there was no real science on that. So fast forward, a couple decades later, we finally make the studies. And remember what I said in all the other videos and go back and watch them again, because you'll see that I, just, I don't talk just out of my butt. You know, I talk about the science. And now I'm going to make the word just to prove that one wrong. Okay, just to finally shut him down and make him apologize to me and say, oh, well, yeah, I was wrong. You were right, Peter. All props to you. That's what he got to do right thereafter. Because I had like five minutes of unnecessary work. Okay, that's a lot in my time. I could be drinking my after workout shake right, shake right now. And I'm doing all the work just for you guys. Study called Chimpanzee Super Strength and Human Chimpanzee Super Strength and Human Skeletal Muscle Evolution by Matthew blah, 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 okay? Chimpanzee Super Strength has been widely reported since the 1920s, blah, 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 blah. But in measurements, chimpanzee human muscular performance is only about 1.5 times was the modern estimate. And now, our research, our results show that chimpanzee muscle, okay, the muscle, exceeds human maximum dynamic force by 1.35 times. That means one kilogram of chimp muscle is 1.35 times stronger than one kilogram of human muscles. And remember, chimps are like 100 pounds. They're tiny compared to humans, tiny. And now why is that? As I said, it's the same, they're made of flesh. They're mammals, just like us. This is primarily due to the higher fast twitch fiber content. Isn't that just what I said? They just have more type two fast twitch muscle fibers because we are mostly endurance animals. We are endurance runners, we are endurance animals. We have a lot of type one muscle fibers that have fast twitch fibers rather than exceptional maximum isometric force, blah, blah, blah. It's just that, it's just that. Read it up, I'm not gonna read all of it. Not abstract, as I said, since the 1920s, blah, blah, blah. Critical review of available data suggests that chimpanzee mass specific. Okay, that's a big word for somebody like who doesn't even know how to read studies. That means uh, of the same strength, of the same weight, 50 kilogram chimp versus 50 kilogram human. A 50 kilogram human is usually considered a weak human. Okay, usually, no offense. If I'm gonna meet a 50 kilogram male, usually I'm gonna be a lot stronger. If it's not Naim Sulaimanoglu, I'm probably gonna be stronger because I'm 80 kilograms. I'm like one and a half times heavier. But he's one and a half times stronger per kilogram. So a 50 kilogram chimpanzee is about as strong as that, oh, a human on average. Oh, you're talking about an average human, an untrained human, like a sofa dweller. A couch potato human, an untrained human. Oh, that changes it a lot, okay? 
Because like a 50 kilogram trained human is easily 1.5 times stronger than a 50 kilograms untrained human. If you meet like, if you go to the, to the gym the first time and you see the weights you lift untrained and then you start training, okay? If you train a couple years, you're easily gonna lift two or three times your original weights, meaning you're now two or three times stronger per kilogram than you have been before. So a trained human is two to three times stronger per kilogram than an untrained human, which means a trained human is about two times stronger per kilogram than a chimpanzee. Plus a trained human could be 1.5 to two times heavier than a chimpanzee. And I'm not talking about huge guys like you've been talking. You've been talking about Thor, like strongest human in the world. Muscular base of the performance differential have included blah, 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 blah. But it is because of higher single contractile properties, um, fraction of MHC2. That means he's got more type 2 muscle fibers. Unlike humans, chimpanzees, chimpanzee muscle is composed of about two thirds fast twitch fibers and human only about one third because we are endurance animals, as I just said before. Mm. So I'm sorry, little chimps. I'm sorry, you as well. I'm sorry, people who eat, ate up the myth of a chimpanzee being like a gazillion times stronger than Haftor Bjornsson on steroids. It's just not true. Okay, it's chimps. And if you had any understanding of movement and you saw actual chimpanzees, not gibbons, moving, you saw how they move with their weight, then you know that they, they are not, they're not two to three times stronger, okay? They're about in the level of a trained human. Because if you see trained humans, like Ninja Warrior, watch freaking Ninja Warrior on TV and see how they glide around the obstacle course and it's about the same strength level as a chimpanzee, okay? It's, not, it's about the same, right? It's about the same. Uh, per kilogram and uh, then we're talking about fighting right not about acrobatics obviously a 45 kilogram animal is much uh, more likely to be acrobatic okay if we take like um, gymnasts they're like 45 to 65 kilograms but now we're talking we're comparing and because the original comparison is literally a chimpanzee compared to a professional fighter who's almost two times as heavy who's Strength is about two to three times as much as that of a man of the same weight who's untrained. And who's trained in fighting, who has the timing, who has the technique, who has the strategy, who has the experience in actual hand-to-hand -hand combat. Right? So now I'm ready for your apology. It's all good. Write it in the comments. Make a little video. Send me 50 bucks as an apology. Invite me to a coffee or tea. Whatever, but just finally see that I, as almost always, am right again. See you next time.